Welcome to Bani Hashim Brigade. Today we would expose the liar David Wood, who says Quran is not the word of God. It has been written by Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. Now Zubillah. To support his claim, he says that the statement that Prophet Abraham peace be upon him was saved miraculously by God from the fire in which the king put him is just a fiction. His video of accusation has been linked in the description. To prove his point, David Wood says, During the first century AD, a Jewish rabbi named Jonathan ben Uzzail was translating the Hebrew Genesis 15 to Aramaic. During that, a sentence came, God saved Abraham from the city of Ur. Remember Ur. David says that the rabbi mistakenly translated the city of Ur as the city of fire because in Hebrew the word Ur means fire and the rabbi did not know about the Babylonian name of the city of Ur. So the meaning became God saved Abraham from the city of fire instead of God saved Abraham from the city of Ur which is the name of a city in Iraq commonly known as Ur of the Chaldees. It is the place where Prophet Abraham peace be upon him came from. So as a result of this one wrong translation, the later generations made up stories around it and during the lifetime of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, such false stories were famous amongst Jews and Christians of Arab land. And same wrong story was copied by Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him in the Quran and Hadith. Naudhubillah. So that's why according to David Wood, Quran is not the word of God and it has been written by Prophet himself. Please watch the complete video carefully to understand how tactfully people like David Wood are misguiding common people. Do not skip otherwise you will miss the link and won't understand. Such claim by David Wood concludes that he has lost his senses due to attacking Islam over time. And he crosses all bounds of foolishness when he asks his spectators to believe that a rabbi mistranslated and changed the history which is already known to thousands of people but still everyone believed him and after that followed him. Be careful hmm? Just a mistranslation from one language to another can change the history that atom bombs were nuked at New York not Hiroshima and consequently the whole world would believe it according to David Wood. Now please contemplate on these points. First of all, a rabbi or a religious scholar knows very well the basics of his religion. It's quite simple that if a man is a rabbi or a religious scholar, definitely he knows all the main important events of the religious history. Not only scholar, even the general followers of a religion know the main main important history and commandments of the religion. Take for example, we have muftis and sheikhs in the Muslim world. Now, if a foolish man like David would say that a Muslim sheikh during the 18th century, note it, a Muslim sheikh during the 18th century while translating the Quran from Arabic to English made a mistake and instead of translating, the moon was split into two halves by the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, the sheikh translated the sun was split into two halves. And from then onwards, the people followed him and later generations added up stories and today we find Muslims believing that the Prophet split the sun into two parts. Could such a thing ever happen? Even a six year old Muslim child knows that the Prophet has split the moon and not the sun. Because this is a very famous and well known incident. So every scholar too will know it. Let him be knowing any language. Assuming that the religious scholar made such a huge mistake which he must be knowing in his own language and over that the whole population accepted it is totally wrong. If Rabbi Jonathan would have known that Prophet Abraham peace be upon him has never been saved from the fire, he simply cannot add a history changing incident by his own. And even if somebody adds, people will not accept it. Such assumptions can only be made by people like David Wood who have their brain in the knee instead of their head. Just notice here carefully what David Wood wants you to believe. That Rabbi made a mistake 
which changes the whole history dramatically and the rabbi himself does not know that he is making a mistake astonishing claims may god have mercy on people with such mental disorders now the second point rabbi jonathan ben uzel was not the only rabbi in the first century ad there were many in fact he was one of the 80 students who studied under his teacher hillel the elder when romans ruled the palestine so it's clear that if rabbi jonathan ben uzel would have made such a history changing mistake and would have been spreading such false stories of prophet abraham peace be upon him being saved from the fire then those other hundreds of rabbis would have corrected him and asked him to explain where did you bring such an incident from which we have never heard nor we have studied in any book nor we have learned from any of our teachers from the fact that no rabbi raised voice against rabbi jonathan ben and no other jewish group claimed that jonathan ben was spreading falsehood it's clear that the teachings of rabbi jonathan ben uzel were in line and matched with the teachings of the other other rabbis and the general traditional jewish literatures third point such great incident of prophet abraham peace be upon him being saved from the fire miraculously is always going to be known by common people too it is just impossible that nearly after 2000 years of passing of prophet abraham a single rabbi introduces a new miraculous plain history in the life of prophet and people simply believe it the fact that people were believing the miraculous saving of the prophet abraham peace be upon him was because of the traditional historical transmission and religious texts and orally transmitted religious knowledge by priests generations after generations and not simply because of the mistranslation of the single rabbi you can understand this very easily if you take a practical life example just imagine a muslim scholar of 21st century that is 1400 years after the prophet muhammad peace be upon him introduces a new miraculous incident in the life of prophet muhammad peace be upon him suppose the scholar mistakenly or purposely quotes that during the lifetime of prophet a huge crowd gathered and the kuffars of makkah slaughtered the prophet nauzubillah and his head fell down on the ground but miraculously his head again raised up from the ground and joined his body and many disbelievers of makkah converted to islam watching this incident so do you think that this lie is going to be believed by any muslim or any other muslim scholar simply not because such thing is never mentioned in any text neither it has come from any verbal transmission neither it has any base a lot of criticism will arise books would be written against the sheikh and the sheikh would be blacklisted and will have no followers Similarly if Rabbi Jonathan ben Uzel or any of his follower would have brought a new miraculous incident of prophet Abraham peace be upon him being miraculously saved by the fire then people would have simply abandoned him religion is not a one man thing it's such a if such a great lie will be introduced in religious history then other scholars and people will simply overthrow it instead of accepting it now let's analyze how david wood is using history to misguide people the origin of the word ur in the history is not known it's true that in hebrew ur means fire and also at the same time ur is the name of the city in iraq so rabbi janadan may have translated the meaning of city of ur as city of fire but his translation as city of fire is simply because of the already known normal general traditional understanding that god had saved prophet abraham from the city of fire that was already known to rabbi janadan and the people at that time the rabbi could only have concluded that meaning because of the already known historical knowledge and common understanding that was well known to everyone since 2000 years hence nobody opposed it because everybody knew about the miraculous saving of the prophet abraham peace be upon him from the fire the way david wood is using it as because rabbi janadan made a mistake 
people started believing that prophet abraham peace be upon him was saved from the fire this is totally incorrect as we have discussed earlier that such great historical lies cannot go unnoticed by people and all other jewish rabbi of that time would have not preached it and at the most only a very small deviated group of people would be having such thought not the whole of arabia and the jewish and the christian world because whole of arabia was not the only follower of rabbi janadan and his descendants hundreds of other rabbis with their own descendants and followers existed right from the generation of rabbi janadan and they knew and read the scriptures in original hebrew not the one translated by rabbi janadan in aramaic also we saw the example of the muslim scholar trying to make a new history which could never be a successful attempt so i would request people to keep their minds open before accepting anything what they are said or else they will become the fuel for the hell fire mental patients like david ord need immediate treatment david we can arrange for the public donations for your mental treatment in case you cannot afford please let us know stay close to islam and truth the liars would be exposed very soon subscribe to our channel to try to protect yourself from such misguided people Oh uh-huh.